Hi everyone, welcome back to Christina Land, a place for grown up gift givers and adult toy collectors. Welcome to spooky season. And I am finally, finally going to open this Living Dead doll Galeris that I bought in 2019. <laughs> so I have had her for quite a while. And uh, you can see on this sticker right here, Living Dead Dolls, 20 Years of Terror. So this is a 20th anniversary doll, which means they've now been around for, if I bought her in 2019, 24 years. Unfortunately, Living Dead Dolls has, hasn't has made original dolls for a while. They were supposed to a year or two ago, and then that fell through, I think, because of with everything that was going on in the world. Um, so they've just been focusing on what they call Living Dead Doll Presents, which is when they partner with um, like film or TV to do a usually a horror movie, like a doll from a horror movie, um, or it's TV shows like uh, Wednesday, which I recently, well, kind of recently reviewed, and I'll put a link to that in the description below. Uh, they are making very expensive dolls to celebrate their first year of Living Dead dolls. So they made Sadie, which is $120. I'll put a picture here. And then I think Exorist, Exorcist, which I'll put a picture here. Those are both sold out, I believe. I know Sadie definitely is for, uh, for sure sold out. Um, I'm not sure if you can join the wait list or not. And then Exorcist, which I'm not sure is sold out. If uh, Exorcist is sold out, I'll put a comment down below here that they're sold out. So eventually the three other dolls from Series 1 should be in that $120 price point, And they're that much because they have, I think, at least 16 points of articulation. They have glass eyes. They have different face plates that you can put on. They have accessories. So they come with a lot. That's why they're so much. And the other three in the series should be, I believe, Damien, Sin, and Eve. If it's incorrect, I'll put something in below. And when these first came out, they had like, like this is coffin packaging. This is sturdy coffin packaging. And I don't think they had sturdy coffin packaging. So I think for the 20th anniversary, they did actual coffin packaging. And then for Living Dead Doll Presents, it's not actual coffin packaging. It's just in a rectangular box. Before I open it, I want to kind of show you a bit of on the packaging. You have spider webs on the plastic packaging, text that says, I'm dead. You have uh, the five dolls in the 20th anniversary. Okay, I think you can only see four dolls. That's right, I think the fifth doll was a surprise doll, so that's why they only show you the four dolls. Because if you're able to buy it as a set, you got a fifth doll, which was a surprise doll. Um, but I found this at FYE, which is where I bought Gomez and Morticia. And, uh, whoops, oh man. I, uh, I poked a hole in the coffin with my scissors. See, that's sad. So don't do what I did and be more careful when opening this. Which I'm going to do for the next Living Dead doll I'm going to open because I have one more Living Dead doll that I'm going to open. Uh, guess what Living Dead doll in the comments below. It's, uh, it's one of these four. This one, this one, or this one. So again, this is a nice cardboard coffin shape. Just, you know, if you have this doll or ever buy one. And again, I think before the 20th anniversary, it was, a, it was coffin shaped, but it wasn't a sturdy box. Um, so be careful when opening. Let's see. Oh, the lid comes nice and easy. That's nice. Oh, here we go. Here is the text for Galeris, Galeris, which I will read to you. Galeris is made of pure, unholy fire. Her only purpose is to raise the flames higher. Not happy with simply watching all of you burn, but rather feeling your bones to ashes they turn. So if you don't know anything about Living Dead dolls, they are all based on dolls who have died. They, they died. And they usually come with a death certificate of how they died. And then the doll usually is not happy that they died. Um, so they come back to life. 
to haunt people. I don't know if my light will pick it up. Okay, it kind of is picking up, but there are etchings on the lid of this coffin. Um, it looks like the dolls from the first season, like the first series. So Damon or Damien, that looks like Sadie up here. I'm not sure who the one in the middle is. Very quickly, the inside of the cardboard coffin box is red. Very cool. Here is the back of the Living Dead box. It says in red at the top, we've passed away, now it's time to play. Living Dead Dolls. Based on the doll series by Damien Glonick and Ed Long. Each Living Dead doll comes with a death certificate as proof of their demise. Developed by Mezco Toys. I mean, it has the website. And then their catchphrase, because deader is better. She is very easy to take out of the packaging. That's great. I love that. There's no twist ties or anything holding her there. Okay, so the death certificate is on the other side of the packaging. It's all rolled up too, so be careful when you take it out. Okay, it looks like there was twist tie holding her hair, but maybe since it's been, I don't know, at least three years it came undone. I'm gonna open the death certificate first. It's wrapped up as a scroll and no death date as she only lies dormant a changing of the seasons or everlasting torment. Here's what it looks like. A light brown, a skull at the top with certificate of death in black, red looking stamp that says dead, and then red printed on seal at the bottom, and then just white on the other side. Her hat does come off, but she has hat hair, so we're gonna put the hat back on. It is a black, hat with a brim and she is named after a volcano galeris so she has yellow eyes with orange pupils kind of fire coming out of her eyes white skin completely white skin black lips with a little bit of flames coming out of her lips her hair is a blonde and down to her feet i'm not good with hair types there's no gel in it. Feels good to me. She has two pieces of clothing, a crop top-ish kind of outfit that it looks like it's made out of linen uh, that is almost as white as her skin, and then the skirt is also as white as her skin, and then she has bare feet. Now, she does have, I don't know if you can see it, but she does have a little bit of black on the edges of her feet. I think the coffin she was in kind of stained her feet a little bit because there's just a black dot on each of the back of the foot, which is interesting. She has five points of articulation. I'm gonna take the hat off to show you. Move her head to the left, to the right, up and down, that's nice, I didn't expect that. And to the side, nice, also didn't expect that. Put her hat back on, she just looks better with the hat though. The shoulders, and she can also move her arms out and at the hips, a little stiff. There we go, nice. And let's see how tall she is. She is 10 inches tall. And I believe all the Living Dead dolls are 10 inches tall. Um, I think the expensive ones that they're coming out with to recognize the first series of dolls are 10 inches tall as well. So her top has no closure and there's also, like it's maybe a beige white, her top and dress. There is some printed white flowers on it. On the back, you can kind of see, and on the front as well, but there's no closure on this top, so I guess, um, so I guess Glarus will be staying on this top forever. There is a Velcro, Velcro closure on her skirt, however. Oh, how interesting. She has painted yellow underwear. I think she's pretty creepy, but pretty. Um, there are several Living Dead dolls that are too creepy for me, honestly. Uh, so I like creepy, but to a point. Some of the way the manner they died and how they're portrayed in the doll is like, oh, that's that's creepy. That's quite creepy. Um, so that might give you a hint as what my other Louis doll that I bought is from this series. But I really like her. If Living Dead doll ever does their original dolls again, I highly recommend you get one if you see it, especially because they go for so much on the second market. Unfortunately, like, you know, she is from four years ago, so she is not available anywhere. But I have seen a few Living Dead dolls on OfferUp for actually a good price. 
they're not any ones I was interested in, but I have seen them, so they can potentially go on, uh, like markets, like maybe Facebook market or offer up or places near you for a more reasonable price, potentially. And I really like her. I recommend her. Um, she has painted eyes, by the way. I don't think I mentioned that, that she has painted eyes. So the Living Dead dolls that I own, both Living Dead Doll Presents and Living Dead Dolls all have painted eyes. I'm glad I finally got to open her, and I knew I had to wait for the Halloween season because that just seemed appropriate. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Please share with your friends if maybe they're into very creepy dolls like Galeris. <laughs> and remember, it's okay to like what you like, be who you are, and stay young at heart. I will see you in the next video. Bye. And stay creepy.